All right. Do looks matter when it comes to finding your love, your um, your partner, your boyfriend? And are you single in a relationship or married? I'm single. <laughs> and yes, I definitely do think looks matter. OK. All right. And so why I'm a little nervous on my <laughs> <laughs> Why do they matter, Claudia? Um, because it just, you know, that's the first impression that somebody gets of you. Mm -hmm. So obviously they don't know you just, they're just seeing what you look like, which gives a silent impression, I would say, you know? Absolutely. Not to be judgmental, but you can tell a little bit about a person by, you know, what you see initially. Absolutely. Okay. All right. That's fair. Yeah. May I ask you, what type of guys do you attract when you do go out, Claudia? To be honest, I really attract a wide range of guys, and that's what has me a little bit confused. I attract bums. I, I attract wealthy men. I attract, like, like, it's a wide range, actually, and I'm just like, I don't know. I'm kind of fed up with dating. So let me ask you this, Claudia. If you're attracting wealthy men, what happened with the wealthy men? I feel like they play a lot of mind games. I feel like it's just really hard for me to find somebody that's real and mature mind games what's mind games the wealthy men what type of mind games are they playing when they meet you it's let me see if i can put this into words it's kind of like i don't know it's like they really it's like okay so i'll explain this when i first meet a man i'm pretty guarded that's just how i am and i kind of open up you know along the way but i feel like after the three month mark where they're seriously pursuing me then i will like open up more and show more interest gradually and once i start to really show that i like them they kind of pull back and i don't really know what it's about you a lie and the truth ain't in you i don't know what she's talking about she meeting these high value men and it's taking her months just to like get to like them she she said what do you attract when you go out everything from nug nug to mr six figures everything <laughs> yeah if we got the context of her stories you know this it taking months you know, for her to really start liking the guy. No, tell it like it is. She she falling into some vindictive hunching. She out here uh playing with Mr. High value, high earning guy. And if and yeah, some of these niggas who play, they will take the long, the long road, play the long con. All right, Bone Quisha, do you want to take on that Steve Harvey mantra? I'll I'll wait. Three months, whatever you say, Boquisha. We're going to chat the whole time. Mr. High Earner over here doing his thing. He's going to wait till you till you come around. But when he say, all right, I'm going to sleep by, he ain't going to sleep. All right. <laughs> God dang it. Then he finally gets you three months in. And he's like, I didn't got what I wanted. You made me look, wait that long out my face. And here she is in Central Park, probably drunk. <laughs> Man. I don't really know why that is. So you're meeting a wealthy man. You guys are talking for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Things are going good. And then... It's consistent. Consistent communication. Consistent. Things are going well. And I'm assuming he's paying you bit. He's paying your bills, doing fine dining. Y'all taking trips over these couple of months. And then he just changes. Yeah. Just changes. <sighs> you shut your lying lips up. Now we confused. Ashley said, I'm assuming... Mr. Six Figures paying bills, take you on trips, buying you gifts. She said, yeah. So what are you, now what you talking about, Bonquisha? Like I said, she, she lying. She lying. And then, God dang it. This is, this y'all problem. Y'all get my nerves with this. Y'all come to Kendra. Help me, Q. They come to Kendra and actually don't look for help and guidance. And y'all won't tell the good doctors all your all your symptoms and exactly what's going on you just say no i meet high earning guys they pay all my bills and then they leave that's not true <laughs> what are you doing or not doing tell us when it all falls apart what does he say to your face before the last time you see him give us the real the real symptoms <laughs> Shout out to the nomadic crier. Says, skip this liar. Shall do. Just up here lying. Yeah, listen here. I guess she don't even get a chance to tell the truth. She's been skipped and I'm fine with it. Gotta stop. Look at her. 
like it's the those still shots if you ask me they mean something and they always look crazy doing them still shots <laughs> not taking any credit away from mr x i just think it's hard to miss when they actually just crazy <laughs> we gonna give her some space air i guess there we go good for her. <laughs> huh. we got us the gun line tell them about the gun line boss so here we go we still over at ashley land we still at 40 skips hit the like button here we go all right are you single married in a relationship and do looks matter when you go out into the dating world i'm single and looks definitely matter um i would have to say that for myself being a single um mother single woman um i take great care of my own self um I love nice things. I love to treat myself. I love to pamper myself, all of those things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if that's what I'm going to do for myself, then I would definitely look for that. So when I'm out and I'm, ex ex I'm experiencing life, having a good time, I pay a close, I pay close attention to the guy's teeth. I look at their face, their skin, because my first thought is going to be, how are you treating yourself? Because if you're not taking care of yourself, then um, I'm not interested in their deficits when I'm trying, when I'm doing what I need to do to keep myself up to par. So I believe that uh, it makes sense to want someone in the sense of how you want for yourself. So what I want for me, I will also want that from my, my man, my, my husband. Now I am divorced. And so after I went through my divorce with my ex-husband, that was my journey. And on that journey is how I discovered these things. And I got divorced back in 2016 and I'm still single. Mm. Shout out to Noodles Jefferson. Come through the 50 ball says Skip E. He's went out over a decade ago. Are y'all catching how violent this is coming to her head? She came on screen with both foot on the gas pedal. She, I like nice things. I buy myself nice things. The next ninja got to treat me nice and give me nice things. I likes what I like. And if I could do it for me, he got to do it for me. Ain't that right, Ashley? Am I wrong in my thinking? I like to pamper myself so my next dude should pamper me. And then she go on. I'm like, why is she so angry? And yeah, she's a divorcee. You left your husband. You've been alpha widow to some degree and you a raging angry. She like, I know how much money I get, how much alimony. I know what kind of car I drive. I know how I'm living. But why ain't I got a man that matches that? Doesn't work that way. <laughs> Man, she got that permanent scowl on her face, her hair. I mean, her head looked like, you know, the soil down in Haiti, respectfully. It's just exhausted. God, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's right. <laughs> her husband took everything she had. She should have stayed with him. Look at that. She came up here making raging terroristic demands with a scowl. With a scowl, not with a smile and a baked apple pie, a scowl and rage and anger and wearing all black all the way up to it. Come on, man. It's over for this sister. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to put her in the sub, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, at least. Yeah, sub, sub dweller. <laughs> here we go. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favourite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. It's rough out here. That was bad. She said, I got divorced back in 2016 and I'm still single. <laughs> like, that was her last cry. 2016, what, nine years? 
still single, and, and that weenie carousel been so detrimental to her when she left her husband. I can only imagine. And the first guy, if she didn't cheat on the poor brother, <laughs> the first guy, she's like, dang, this ain't it. And she that's all she had to deal with. Now she up here like, bring me Dwayne The Rock Johnson right now. 